He said you can start your own AI agency, run it on autopilot, have all your contacts and all the information logged in a CRM right here and start making some money. And it's a very simple setup. So we're just doing some Gmail triggers here just to bring in the emails. We're getting the thread. We're cleaning up the emails, identifying the labels, and then we're just using switch just to route. So if it's a new email, it's going to come up here and then notify us on Telegram once it's all done. Or if it's a, you know, a, an email from a client who's already contacting us, then it's going to come down here and then obviously notify us as well if it's done. I'll give you a little demo. So I have a little test email right in here. Let's just press send. All right, and that email has just arrived. So let's test the workflow and we should see it jump up right over here. Go to the router here, go through the leads agent. Okay, so lead agent is going to deal with replying to the email and everything. The Superbase updater is going to be updating the lead data and the contacts data. And then it's going to be, you know, giving that little contacted label marked as red as well. And then notifying us on Telegram. That's why my watch is going off and notifying me with all the messages. Now, if I refresh the email, we'll see that we get the contacted. It's marked as red. So it's already, you know, set and ready to go. And there is the email that has been sent off to that client okay so now let's reply to this email again from the other email address and see what the results are like all right let's send this email off and that email has just arrived so let's test the workflow again and now we should see it come down reply to it again get the thread history as well so it's getting context of you know the emails and everything so i'm going to update super base if required no it's not required yet and then you know put a telegram message back to us again so we can see that lead has come through as well which is obviously just me and we do have a contacted status on it as well. So we can see our pipeline, you know, if we have one or two in contact and negotiation, one lost, you know, so we can see visually how things are going with all our leads as well. And, you know, if we do have any tasks or anything like that, that we need to complete, we can, you know, essentially manage everything from the one place as well, very easily. And just as a little, you know, extra as well, I've added in here daily tasks okay so like the things that you should be doing daily okay and we can just click these once they're all done and then this is some quick links and these are the little things that you can just add yourself as well you know you could add some new links in here just some things that you know you want easy access to that you can just click to right from here as well and it's just very easy you know you can create a new lead if you need to okay and maybe a new task as well, if that is also required. Then you can just add things like dark mode and light mode as well, you know, but I mean, that's too blinding for me. So I always use dark mode. And this is just all made through Lovable. So I've just put in messages here, sent like, you know, natural language messages, gone back and forth, and then created this whole thing here. Now for the Superbase, uh, it's a very simple setup that I've got here as well. So in Superbase, you know, well, there's that new contact. I do have the old one there, which I tested before, but I just have the contacts table with an ID, the UUID, uh, name, email, status, notes, created that, updated that. Leads is just same thing with the ID, name, email, status, notes, created that, updated that. Uh, and then we have the task as well. So we just have title, due date is done, lead ID if we want to link it to a specific lead as well. Uh, created that and updated that and you could essentially just ask ChatGPT to make these tables for you when you want to you know build it out yourself at home or whatever it may be all right let's go through the setup here there's a lot of things you could probably learn from this as well so we got the gmail trigger obviously okay so we do want to switch off the simplify okay because that's going to give us access to important things just like text now this is going to show the full body of the email rather than just like a little snippet Okay, and this is going to be really important because when we give that to our AI agent later, it's going to be understanding the full email rather than just a snippet. Then up here, the mode, you know, if you want this set to every hour, um, you know, you probably wouldn't do it once a day, but this is where you'd be setting it up. So you could probably do this for like every 30 minutes or so. Now, after that, we're getting the thread. Okay, so we're just putting that thread ID from this right here. We're dragging the expression across. Then we get that thread ID. Okay. Now the thread ID is going to output this right here. Okay. So it's all the conversations between that person and me. Okay. Or you or whoever it may be. Now the label here is really, really important because if that label exists and it goes through the switch and it has the name contacted, then it knows where to route. Okay. So if it doesn't exist and you know, there's nothing there, it's just going to say no label and then route it to the first agent. Now from this code right here, uh, nothing is really uh, special about this at all. 
essentially what's happening here is that we're just extracting information from the trigger okay we're extracting it from here and then we're just outputting the information here and now you can see i'm getting all the labels because sometimes gmail um, they're outputting the labels in different locations i'm not sure why so i just ended up you know extracting everything and then taking all four now after that we're coming through here and we're going through a label identifier okay so based on the labels here we have inbox important category and i mean these are default right but then we can see that label that i've actually made which is contacted now that label there is also passed through here as a valid label okay so if the name of the label is either new contacted negotiation or other okay it'll be passed through all right but if it's not then it will result in no label now that's important because now when here we do have the label name which is just from the previous code node now if that outputs as no label then it's going to route up here to the text classifier okay which is essentially just acting as a router anyway but if it isn't no label and it's either contacted or negotiation then if it was contacted it will come down here and that would be the reply agent that deals with all the replies to that same person but if it was already a negotiation it would come down to telegram and then notify us okay that an email has come in from a person with a negotiation label now after that you can see that i do have gpt 4.1 mini set in here which is really really nice and cheap very very reliable then i have the reply to thread as well so this actual expression again is just taken from that clean email the the first code node that i made after the gmail trigger and i'm just extracting that information i'm just taking that thread id putting it in a thread id right here and also in this one right here setting the email type to html because we want to format all our emails in html as well and we just define by the model for the message now in our actual leads agent right here all this information here again is just from the clean email okay so all that information that i clean and extracted from the gmail trigger I'm just placing it all in here, okay? So I have replied to this potential client, placing all that information in there, you know, the name, the email subject, and then we just have a simple prompt. So in here, it's just creating HTML formatted emails um, via the Gmail tool, today's date, which is also very, very important. So your agent knows what bloody date it is and everything. It's not giving like a date in 2024, 2023. Uh, some configuration. So this is where you can just put a little simple configuration you know, put your name in there, um, your desired length, you know, if you want short, if you want to be more in depth with your emails, the tone of your email as well, if you want to be more professional, um, you know, this is where you can change things. Now, after that, we're coming through to a super base updater agent. Okay. So in this one right here, again, we're just getting all that information. So this agent is also very aware of what's happening. And then in here, all we're doing is we just have a few tools. Okay. And it's just to update that information so that once it's all updated and placed on there that information is going to be placed into our crm because this crm here is actually fetching and pulling that information from superbase to display right here then we just have add lead data okay so i'm setting a hard-coded value for the actual status because i already know it's just going to be contacted so rather than rely on the agent to do it just put it there yourself what the agent is going to be doing though is inserting the name is inserting the email and the notes and then just for the add contact data very very similar thing because we want to separate too we want to have a leads list and we also want to have a contacts list the contacts list could be for all our contacts whereas a leads list is more so for the pipeline you know going from the stages until we you know close them out and we win and we make some money and then after that i'm just going through an informant lm chain okay so this is very, very simple as well. We're just giving that information and I'm just wanting a short summary of what's happened and what's this email about, okay? Because that's then going to go through an add label and putting that label as contacted, which we can see right here, okay? And then after that, we're just going and marking as red, okay? And then outputting all that information to Telegram just so we can see, okay, we've got a new lead. Now we're informed. You know, we're getting a little bit of information from that informant of what's happened. And it's just, yeah, an email has been sent off and they have been added to your CRM just to let you know as well. And then in this one down here, it's very, very similar. But in this case, we're replying. So there's a very important thing here as well, because we do have get thread history. 
So I've just added again the thread ID, which I'm just getting from that code node as I showed you before, okay? Getting that thread ID and we're just getting the history. So this is gonna output the messages and you know everything that I've gone back and forth with with that actual person so that the agent can understand the context of what's happening between you know all the previous messages. Then we're just replying, okay? So again, we just have the thread ID, thread ID, very similar, just like what we had before. Uh, we're using 4.1 mini again, and then we have a parser. Now the parser is important is because we want to be getting a reason and a status because that status is going to be passed over here, which I'll talk about in a second, okay? But looking at a setup here, again, very, very similar to the other agent. So we're just passing all that information so it understands what's going on and who to reply to and everything. Uh, and then here, I just have a bit of a different uh, system prompt, okay? Because once we start replying, we don't want to be talking and, and acting the same way every single time, right, for this person. So if we send like three replies or something like that, we don't want to be saying exactly the same thing. So I'm giving a few extra options in this uh, particular system message right here, okay? So, you know, it, if it's message equals one, say hi. If it's message equal two, hello again, you know? So it's more like, you know, it's not automated and it's actually the person <laughs> replying to them, okay? Uh, and then after that, you can see that I have the status. So I said, set status to negotiation only if all client questions have been answered and conversation is in the quoting negotiation stage or if the client has requested a call or similar action. And then we have the output, okay, which is going to be used for our um, structured uh, parser, okay? So it's then going to give a reason and a status. Now, if the status is not negotiation or just say nil and the reason as well of why, you know, it shows that actually that actual um, reasoning. Now for this super base agent here, it's very, very similar to the one we just saw before, but it has extra things here. So we can see that it has create task, get lead UUID, update contact and update lead. Now this is important because if we wanna create a task for that particular person, we first need to get the UUID, okay? So you can see here, I'm getting as an operation get, I'm going through the table ID of leads, okay? I've set the name or ID, so name, and then defined by defined by the model here because it's going to place the person of the client who's contacting us and it's gonna place its name in there to query the store and get the row and then output the information as we can see right here, okay? So now that it knows this information, it's gonna take that UUID, okay? It's then going to place it in the create task if applicable, okay? If it needs to create a task, if it doesn't need to create a task, it won't but then it's gonna be able to place that actual lead uh, UUID in here and actually create a task for that lead. And then we're just defining by the model for the title, which is essentially just the task. Uh, the due date, I've just set it as a, an expression in here. So this was just custom as well with one day plus, okay? So if we put today dot plus and then in brackets, the actual number in terms of how many days and then little mini quotes here. And with the days, this is gonna be essentially giving us an outputting a date, which is one day from now, okay? So as you can see, today is the 21st, so now the uh, due date would be the 22nd. And then we just have another LLM chain here, and this is just going to essentially do the same thing like the previous one did, and just update us on what's going on, what has that client spoken about, just to keep us in the loop, you know, in case we're too busy to looking at our CRM or anything like that as well. So we're just gonna go through there, mark it as red, and then output the final message from the LLM chain to Telegram so that we can see it. And then it's important to set up our labels as well. So I actually just noticed that I haven't actually put in the negotiation label in here. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm gonna create it, and then we can adjust the colors as well. So we're gonna label color, set this one as red, you know, stands out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna to have to add a little Gmail node in here as well, just to place that label on there. So I'm gonna put the Gmail tool. We, we do have message threads and labels, but we wanna be using thread, okay? Now over here, we wanna put add label. And in our thread ID, I'm going to take that same thread ID that we have right here, place it in here, choose my label, which is going to be negotiation, and then there we go, we have it in there. And I'm gonna to have to update the system prompt as well for this agent, just so it knows that it's, you know, what it has to do. So I'm just gonna come down here. I'm just gonna say, also add the thread label set to negotiation. 
if status is negotiation, pretty much, then I'm going to use my little tool, NA10 boy, and optimize the prompt. Let that finish up, and then there we go. We have everything right here. Set the thread label to negotiation. If the contact status is not negotiated, do not update the contact or Lisa and do not set the thread label. Okay, so that should be all good and good to go. Now, if you can't be bothered setting up and you just want to use this CRM that I've made here, as well as the NA10 template right here, then feel free to join a school community. I'll have a guide and downloads up here for you to use. But if I don't see you there, hope to see you in the next video anyway. Take care.